the only true disability in life is a bad attitude. Blake Leeper, 29 years old, Los Angeles, California. This is my story. So every time that I put on my blades and I start sprinting, the way the wind hits my face, it's a moment of freedom. They call me disabled, but you know, I was the eighth fastest man in the world. It's interesting what that word comes with. They told me I would never walk. But the reality of it is, anything is possible. The day that I was born, family was presented with this disabled child born with missing both of his legs. I was laughed at as, as a kid, and I was picked on, sometimes picked last because of my disability. But that's why I loved playing sports. I would use sports as a level of, of gaining respect for my peers. My family fought for me. I couldn't fight for myself. He does not let his disability define him. Even though the disability is the first thing that you see about Blake, it's not the last thing that you remember him from. When I was a freshman in college, I, I seen the Paralympic Games on. It was 95,000 people cheering for eight men that was on the line 100 meters. And I was like, it. Then I was looking at the guys that was running, and I was like, there's something different about them that they have that I don't. And that was the running legs. And when I first got the prosthetic legs, we go to the track, and once I start walking the curve, I started filling out, you know, the blades a little bit. And then once I hit the straight, I started sprinting. And the way the wind was hitting my face, the speed that I was going at, I've never felt that before. And I felt free, right? I felt like nothing mattered in that moment. I knew deep down, this is what you need to be doing with your life. First race, I was so nervous. So we had no clue how fast I was gonna be. I didn't even know how to get into the block, so I was watching them first. Then the gun goes off, they take off on me. And I finally line myself up, I just take off. I cross the line, and I look to my left, look to my right. Wasn't nobody there. I qualified for the US Paralympic team on my first race I ever ran. In 2012, I took my first silver and bronze medal. The feeling of winning a race, it's the greatest feeling in the world. Being an athlete, I have addictive personality. One win is not enough, one gold medal is not enough. I came off the 2012 Paralympic Games and, and I kind of hit this Olympic depression. I was trying to hold on and hide it for a few years. In 2015, I was making bad decisions. I went to a party and I indulged in some alcohol and drugs. Then I went to a race a week later. I tested positive for cocaine. I was suspended from track for two years. My leg sponsor dropped me immediately. I lost my legs to the point where I had to go to my closet and duct tape old legs together just to get to practice. That was probably one of the worst moments in my life. But the decision that I made after that was to get back up, dust myself back off, and, and keep fighting. And whatever the ups and the downs, and my family was in my corner. Everybody's gonna make mistakes. But the true determination of how successful you're gonna be is what you do after that mistake. No days off, trying to be the best in the world. So it's the mindset, baby. So I'm trying to make history and be the first MPT in America to qualify for the Olympic Games coming up in 2020. They call me disabled, but I am currently a little over a second off than the fastest man in the world. Whatever trial and tribulation that you're going through today, embrace it. Your adversity is your advantage. If I wake up every day and say, you know, it's my responsibility to figure this out and, and to take on that challenge, you can start doing amazing things with your life.